Welcome back to our daily news update, bringing you the latest headlines from around the world, now let's begin. New York Democrat complains about her student debt after SCOTUS ruling, gets slammed for million-dollar home, former New York State Senator Alessandra Biaggi, a Democrat, said she owes $206,000 in student loan debt, former New York State Democrat Senator Alessandra Biaggi took to social media Friday to discuss the pricey student loans she had amassed during law school. Despite purchasing a $1.14 million home last summer, in 2012, I graduated from Fordham Law School with $180,000 is student loan debt. Biaggi wrote in a tweet. I've been paying loans for 11 years. Even paid two of them off completely, in 2023, my balance is $206,000, added Biaggi, who represented New York's 34th district during her three-year tenure in the state Senate. The remarks from Biaggi, who posed an unsuccessful primary challenge to former Representative Sean Patrick Maloney, Democrat New York, in the 2022 midterm elections, came nearly one year after it was reported that she and her husband had purchased and moved into a $1,137,500 home located in the state's 17th congressional district, which she had hoped to represent in Congress, Biaggi, 36, and her husband, Nathaniel Kalak, purchased the three-bedroom, two-bathroom home in an upscale suburban area in July 2022. The New York Post reported last year, the Post also noted that the house was a significant upgrade over Biaggi's previous residence, a $691,006 condo in Pelham, New York, where she was registered to vote. Biaggi's comments followed a decision from the Supreme Court to strike down President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan, with the High Court concluding that the White House lacked the legal authorization to provide billions in federal loan forgiveness for borrowers, absent clear authorization from Congress. The move by the Supreme Court will prevent more than 40 million low- and middle-income borrowers from receiving $10,000 in federal loan forgiveness under the Biden administration's plan, and is a major defeat for the president on one of his key 2020 election campaign promises. Several social media users were quick to point out that Biaggi should have paid off her student loans before purchasing the expensive home located in Bedford. New York, you need Dave Ramsey, not Joe Biden, Christopher Rufo, a senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute, told Biaggi in a tweet. Ramsey is a prominent radio host who offers financial advice, responding to Biaggi, another user wrote, you signed the loan agreement. Didn't you read it? She could afford to buy a $1 million home but not pay off $180,000 of debt, Greg Price, communications director for the State Freedom Caucus Network, noted in a tweet, offering his perspective on the issue, retired Marine and talk show host Jesse Kelly wrote in a tweet, breaking, woman spends more than she makes, originally announced by Biden from the White House last August. The debt forgiveness plan would have canceled $10. 000 of federal student loan debt for certain borrowers making less than $125,000 per year, and up to $20,000 for Pell Grant recipients. Subscribe to my YouTube news channel now. Providing accurate and reliable information on the latest hot events. Join the community for exchanging opinions and learning from each other. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on the latest videos. Let's explore the world of information together.